DPF regeneration just kicked me while I was in my garage. My old Mercedes with a diesel engine started its DPF filter regeneration cycle. I've got this lamp hooked up here and it's on now, so I know it's regenerating. I also use an app to watch the DPF temperature. As you can see it's already over 500 degrees and will climb even higher. I set this up because my car doesn't show any information on the display when it's regenerating. Do you have the same in your car? So how I did it? I just tap into the rear window heating circuit using a few splitter. Then I run a cable to the front of the car. I had to remove some covers from the trunk and back seat, but it wasn't hard. The trickiest part was finding the right spot to make the connection. But the pictures show everything. You might be wondering why connecting to the rear window heating helps with regeneration efficiency. In this RM646 diesel engine, when the rear window heating is on, the car's computer causes the engine to burn more fuel. This boosts the DP filter's temperature significantly, helps to reach over 600 degrees Celsius, perfect for generating the filter. Of course, the ideal way to regenerate the DPF is by driving on the highway, but sometimes it catches you in the garage like it did me. It's tough to keep an eye on the engine constantly just waiting for regeneration, especially if you are using your phone. That's why having this kind of alarm lamp is super handy. Ok, so I'm accelerating while still in my garage and the lamp is still on. For the regeneration process, it's good to have 2000 RPM or more. We are now almost or rather over 600 degrees Celsius and as you can see the rear window is off. I turn it on and off again and the additional lamp, alarm lamp still illuminates. This is suggesting that the vehicle's computer is concealing this regeneration process. Here's a diagram of this exact regeneration process. As you can see it went over 650 degrees Celsius. On the right another diagram shows a regeneration performed while driving with temperature is reaching over 700 degrees Celsius. This clearly demonstrates that for efficient DPF filter regeneration, driving the car is essential and most efficient. Here's a screen recording during a different driving scenario. Here the temperature is reaching 700 degrees Celsius. In my Mercedes with the OM646 2.2 liter diesel engine, I get regeneration cycles about every 500 to 600 kilometers. This is 310 to 370 miles. I'd be interested to know the frequency of regeneration cycles in your car. Please share your observation in the comments below, as I believe this can vary significantly based on the car and engine. That concludes this video. Thank you for watching, I hope you found the information valuable. If so, please give it a thumbs up, if not, click thumbs down and explain your reason in the comment section. My next video will be likely focused on a new wristwatch project. Thank you for now and I look forward to seeing you in my next video. Take care, bye bye.